to the show. There isn't one guest that came to this show that I did not like. Thank I got you. I got to know them and understand them and got That's past they, all the whole likes them. party differences yes. and what have you. Beautiful. The solution to what we're doing here, and you stood, you know, by your conviction and understanding. We have a meeting place with the Hip Hop Republican dot TV mm. in our association to 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 hear you out. And That's I think true. I think our viewers understand that. And even sometimes a couple people jumped in the chat room. Your dams were like, you got to go. We don't get down with Shirley right. like that. We want to understand. We don't get down with her guests like that and cool them right out. And they also jumped on your Republicans who don't really show up that much. You know, because, like I said, I don't really think that whoever showed up last week, except for you, okay, <laughs> really is not part of our community. They understood. Well, Yvonne that they was went there. To, uh, Sassy Republican. Exactly. Well, but there community. was another one. There was another one there, too. They just, they didn't get it. And that you could tell probably they just probably just showed up, caught something on Twitter and what have you. They just they just that's is a regular follower so. on um, Facebook, and she has joined our family. So okay, she okay, is so a she well now she is yes, yeah, but she just wasn't normally on the blog. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I can tell. Well, Usually I can you. tell, but you threw me off last week. <laughs> <laughs> you just let us down backwards. Feel for so. you went undercover. Well, let me tell you yeah, a little bit about ahead. his book because we're running out of time. The Diary of a of a mad black young conservative PYC, you know me. PYC, you know me. Let's go buy that. Where yeah, can we get it? Where can we get this book? <laughs> well, right now you can get it on Amazon.com. Yes, you can find it there. You can order it online. Um, and some of my this is a thick book. Yeah, it, it is. It, it has. I wanted to make sure that people had something that had some meaning to it. I put a couple pictures in there, just some of the experiences photos, I've had. Photos. Um, including Fox News Rising in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've done some of the things awesome. on CNN. But I wanted to make sure that people had the experience. Because it goes back to what Mario said and what Danny said and, and all of us have said today. There is a, it's a paradoxical existence at this time. So, that, for example, after one of the articles I wrote for TheRoot.com that said don't protest the New York Post in regards to the Obama monkey from last year. The argument I made was we didn't hear any kind of protest during Black History Month last year from anybody. Not about our communities, not about our schools, not about black on black crime. I said if you're going to do one thing for Black History Month, go protest the conditions in the community. Thank president you. Obama is still the president. Thank Whether you. they write a, a, a cartoon about him being a monkey or not, he's the president. He has plenty of people that will make sure that somebody doesn't try that in reality, in fact, I actually wrote an article and told folks, hey, look, he's now president. You better cool off with the assassination talk. We in black America aren't tolerating it. That's just that. But you know what? Drew, the, uh, out of Palm Springs, brought that up on one of the shows that they did the same thing to Bush. The haters that hated Bush. And I'll be honest with you, everybody in the chat room was like, we didn't, mm -mm. Oh yeah, Real you did. Damn, Come on, independents yeah, don't did. get down there's, like there's that. A, and there's always and, and, there's, and Republicans are the same way. We believe in debate. We feel like our arguments are right. There's no need to, to threaten a man's life. So with that said, you know, with one of those articles, but Sarah Palin did kind of incite that too. She did. There, she did a there, couple things that were just totally. That's there, why we were like, oh, there are always going to go. be people through interpretation that you're going to sit there and look at. And inciting certain types of movements or, or philosophies. And that's why it's important for folks to be out there to defend that. And for example, I wrote an article on, um, I wrote a press release yesterday before I left for California about a, a sitting county commissioner in North Carolina that has a repeated history of making comments about black people living in moral sewers. I saw that. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I had to lady. send out the press release and say, look, his latest thing was with the CDC finding that I even questioned, saying that half of all black women have an STD between the ages of 14 and 49. I, you know, I even wrote so much as I apologized to my friend who is the mayor of Charlotte. I said, look, he's either talking about my wife or your wife. Which one is he, who's he talking oh, to? Right. Is he talking wow. about your daughter or my daughter? That's right. So at, at that point in time, you have to go out and you have to blast an individual like that because there's always going to be some sitting commissioner mm -hmm. or some sitting right. well, person you know, either way. Lenny, you, you've done that, that, that over the last that. year with, with your own party. You've had to put them in check. No, we're not doing that. That's right. not. That's and that's the purpose real. of Hip Hop Republican TV because our viewpoint here in dot com is that the country looks at us differently. Republicans look at us differently, and that the American people realize that we want to speak for all Americans because there are times that we don't agree with the party, and we're unhappy with the establishment and how things are being addressed. You know, one more thing before we go, I want to kind of talk about movement of Black Tea Party. There's a lot of different African Americans out there with viewpoints. There's one brother out there in particular that's saying that he is not African American, and that he is a uh, he is an American. He doesn't even say Republican. He says, "I am an African American. I am not. I am an American." What do you feel about that? 
Uh, I'm talking about Lloyd. I respect, I respect Lloyd Marcus and others that have said that. I, when I was on Glenn Beck, one of the questions that was asked while I was in the audience before I went on the panel was, how many of you all identify yourselves as African American? And probably about 10% of the audience rose their hands. The rest of them said they're not hyphenated. They're Americans are just Americans. Right. But I, I disagree with that. Number one, like I said previously, we should be the melting pot where we can embrace all of our different ethnic backgrounds and be able to focus on the American part of that hyphenated definition by taking pride in the in the adjective before that's first to be number one first thing to be about America number two we have black Americans we have African Americans whether we want to admit it or not in crisis and if we're not going to accept the historical obligation for people to take pride wow. in being black and Absolutely. move forward with that then the people that caught bullets for us that hung from trees from us and been castrated for us the are, are us. they're rolling in their graves and they died in vain and I refuse to be one of those individuals now I, I respect Lloyd Marcus and some of the others that have taken that approach but those of us that forget our history you know black people we're not in a position to right. forget our history and repeat it we'll, exactly. repeat our, we'll, we'll remember our history forget our history and we'll die there will not be an opportunity for right. us to repeat because our history because people die so that we have the right to vote and to exactly live and we have to therefore take pride in them, take ownership and and claim our heritage. If anybody has to be proud of being a hyphenated American, it has to be black you people. Know, and, and I partner with you on that because everything that you're saying, I totally agree. Well, I'm going to play devil advocate because these people are out there and they're to me they almost look a little buffoonish. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to Lloyd or those who support this antic, but you're out there and white America wants us to deny our heritage. They want us to say, oh, we're all one-sided. Because you know that's not true. Because you do get racially profiled and you'll continue to get racial profile because it's the foundation part of America. And that's where we're trying to weave that part of the string out in the right manner. But to deny that st string has never been there. Some folks are all white America. The, well, the, the interesting thing is, I mean, the buffoonish thing, I mean, heck, people call me the mini Obama. Look at the ears, look at the Height, and you know, you can put them on a dog like a bobblehead. I mean, people make jokes about yeah, me as well. But you don't deny your but, heritage. But the that's really offensive. That's really offensive to that's, some African Americans. That's what I think the difference is, and that's the reason why. Well, you know, why. behind the scene, these white people saying, you know, that's a Negro up there. But not only that, but that's the reason why people in the chat room. That's the reason why the conservative Democrats. That's why young voters that did get involved in 2008 for the presidential election can't get down with Republicans because they see a, us. But isn't that a confusing message to those who don't understand black history that you talked about, those who have died, those who are in slavery, those who never were given the right to vote, those who were given uh, basically tax polls, tax uh, um, rights that they didn't understand that we went through in the past. Here you have a new generation, a young generation who don't know that history and you have people out there like Lloyd and those others who sit back and say, well, I don't even want to accept that. I don't even remember that. I don't even look behind well, it, it, I don't know if it's necessarily they're trying to not look, look behind the screen. It's more of a of a microwave mentality. Is you know I have my meal in front of me. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. One minute I have a hot meal. It's that same mindset rather than understanding that you can't. You can do that with some meals, but you can't do that with a Thanksgiving turkey. And. America is that Thanksgiving turkey. It's something that has to bake, you have to care for, you have to watch. That's how you make the meal. You have to do it with care, which means you have to pay attention to every ingredient, where you start it, where you end it, and move from there in order to have that magnificent Is it meal. also part of respect? Because, see, to me, you're disrespecting it's definitely, your heritage. It's definitely part of respect and it's part of self-respect as well and it's part of you know it takes courage to have self-respect it has courage to look back at very painful things I mean we talked about that last night you know you're a married woman I'm a married man we're friends but I should be able to respect my wife your husband and our black heritage enough to open a door for you without there being any connotation. Mm -hmm. If you uh -huh. can't take that step socially with something as simple as opening a door, how are you going to take that step politically? How are you going right. to take that step socioeconomically? Yes. How are you going to take that step historically? For more often than not, you can't. So what's the end result? You look at what we've had over the last 40, 50 years. You, you have the whole mentality. You have the Negro mentality, the nigga mentality. People saying those type of words of language. Nigga? I did in regards <gasps> to addressing. <laughs> Yeah. Well, exactly. Well, I think he exactly. does it because well, we there's a difference. That's, that's how we talk to each other that's as a correct. culture. And if we don't, in that we don't, reference. In that if, we reference. if we do that, how do we expect? If we can't respect each other with our words, we can't be that's chivalrous right. no more, we Behavior. can't do any of those well. things, how in the world are we going to advance sociopolitically in order to rise up black America and subsequently but America? They, but you are going to advance. You can advance the way that they want you to, according to the way I see Lord and the rest of those out there. Well, that, that, that's.